Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of the series how to root any Android phone. And in this particular video, we are going to look at how to install custom ROM on any Android phone. To install any custom ROM on your phone, you need to have a custom recovery installed on your phone. And if you want to know how to install custom recovery and how to unlock bootloader, then please watch the first video of this series or check for the links in the description. Now, if you have a custom recovery installed, you are eligible to install install a custom ROM. Now basically there are two types of custom ROM. One is based on your stock ROM which means it's the same ROM as your stock ROM that comes with your phone but it has additional tweaks, features and is deep loaded and may have a custom kernel as well. We will come to installing kernel part later. The other types of custom ROMs are based on AOSP which means Android open source project like Lineage OS, Resurrection Remix, Paranoid Android, etc. These ROMs are stock Android ROMs with no skins, OEM apps, or bloats. Now let's first look at how to find a ROM for your phone, whether it's a stock based ROM or AOSP based. For that, just go to xtadevelopers.com, search for your phone, and go to the development section. To know if a ROM is a stock based or AOSP based, just check the thread title and it should be mentioned there. If not, then just open the thread and and read the main post for the information and if not then just ask in the comment section to confirm it. But I will tell you one basic trick. If they provide you one zip file which usually have a size of more than 1 gig or 2 gig then that means that it's a stock based ROM. But if they give you two links, one for the ROM and one for the G apps, then it's probably a AOSP based ROM. Also make sure that you check the post for what device model does the particular ROM supports and then only download that ROM. Now you can simply go to Lineage OS website and look for your phone model and download the latest version of the ROM. You can also do the same for Resurrection Remix ROM and other AOSP based ROM. But it's always better to get your ROM from XD developers. Now people always have a question about how and which G apps they should download. Well first go to open G apps website and first choose the architecture. For most of the latest phones out there you should choose ARM64 but do check your phone's architecture if you are not sure about it. Next choose the Android version. This will be the same Android version of the custom ROM that you're trying to install. Now for the variant I would suggest you to choose the nano variant as as it has the Google Play functionality and other important stuff with no bloatware. And if you would need other Google apps, you can download them from the Play Store later. You can also choose other variants as well if you know what you are doing. Now let's talk about kernel. Well, installing a custom kernel will give you a lots of benefits like faster performance, better battery life, etc. etc. And some of the ROMs already comes with a custom kernel, but it's always better to install the right one for you by yourself. To download the kernel, go to the development section and open the kernel tab and you should get a list of all the kernels that are available for your device. Most of the times you can just go blindly for the one which has the high views or high ratings. But don't be blind reading the post. You should thoroughly check if which Android version and which model the kernel supports. Now that you have downloaded everything you need, you should move all the files to the internal storage of your phone. Boot your phone into recovery and the first thing you will need to do is factory reset your phone. Now go to install and choose your ROM zip file and flash it. You might get something like this if you are installing a stock based ROM. This is a Aroma installer interface. Now if you are installing an AOSP based ROM then you need to first flash the ROM itself and once that's done you need to flash the gapp zip file as well. Now it's time to install the kernel. Go to install and flash the kernel zip file.
Now if your phone doesn't boot after installing the kernel, then flash the ROM zip file again and it should replace with the stock kernel and your phone should boot properly. Now most ROMs come with root by default, but if yours doesn't and you want to root your phone, just simply flash magisk zip file. But if you want to know how to root your phone using magisk and how it works, then please watch my video about it. The link will be in the description. And once you're done with everything, reboot your phone and enjoy your newly installed custom ROM. And don't be stuck with one ROM. Try out different ROMs and kernels and stick with the best one for you. If you want to know what more fun things you can do with a rooted phone, then please watch my video about Magisk, Exposed Framework, Substratum, and I'm pretty sure you are going to love it. And if you have any problem regarding this topic, then please don't hesitate to ask that in the comment section down below. And also, if you have any information about this topic, then please help out others in the comment section down below. So that's it, guys. I hope this video helped you. If it did, then give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one.